Hi, Nurida Yanti. I am extremely sorry to for this delay that I have made. It's long three bags, three bags before you mailed me. I I couldn't make this video. Um, why? Because I am in a new place and where I am just getting stabilized right now. These were the your queries. First one. Which position should we consider to measure the DITE for fingerprint plot for interactions involved? Actually, the question is not that clear to me, but I can show you how can we measure the DI and DE values in the Hirschfeld surface sample. This is a Hirschfeld surface those I have generated for my molecule. And this is the fingerprint plot that I am getting and here I will be just making into translated view and then by element by element we will be making and we want to say a hydrogen inside and fluorine outside interaction is there. Then this spike will be coming specifically. Actually before going to the interpretation we must have to know what is the di value stands for and what is de value stands for di is distance from in the Hirschfeld surface to the inside molecule and de is distance from Hirschfeld surface to the external molecule here you can see what we have fixed the internal atom is hydrogen and the outside outcome is fluorine so we are getting a image like this where we are having a spike here where you can get where we are having the minimum distance that is to the external atom it will be around 1.3 and the internal atom that will be around 1 strong ways and simultaneously where this interaction is happening that you can see this interaction is specifically is happening in these two area the spikes are coming I by I have touched the spikes here you know, touch the mouse or click the mouse here then we can specifically understanding the internal atom hyd atom hydrogen is there this beta pyrrole hydrogen is having interaction this also same thing this is actually just um, asymmetric unit is having this much only so the same this this hydrogen and this hydrogen are same in expert crystallography and so this hydrogen the, this internal atom is having an interaction with outside floor matter that is what it means if you are clicking the spike you can clearly understand where that interaction is present so that much wonderfully they have designed this software so you can speak in your paper based on that i think the first question answer is now very clear to you your second question is about curvedness and shape index so first i will show how to make this curvedness and shape index if you are having a hirschfeld surface Hirschfeld surface will be the surface property of Hirschfeld surface once you have drawn it will be the surface property will be d -num. so if you are changing simply the surface property to shape index then you will be getting it easily and you can save it as a png image and later you can change it into curvedness also this is how you are making the shape index and curvedness from your Hirschfeld surface so your question exactly is how can we analyze that for analyzing that we have you can visit our paper that is published in journal of fluorine chemistry volume 163 pages 16 to 22 there the paper title is quantitative crystal structure analysis of fluorinated porphyrin here we are speaking about isostructural couples in porphyrinic crystal systems and there we have employed there we have employed this curvedness and shape index effectively you can see and if you are right, uh, reading the right uh, the text you can understand how effectively we have employed this the third question is you are curious about tonto how why people are using tonto 
Actually, I am not familiar with Tonto experiments in Crystallux Florer. I, th I guess the people are using Tonto in case of charged molecules. The compounds thus are having charge in it. Then people used to do the experiments with Tonto. I guess so. I am not that familiar with. Let's come to your last question. In my observation during Hirschfeld surface analysis, it shows the bond length of atoms values are not same with the value of C file. I guess it may I guess it may be because in Crystal Explorer, if you check, we can manually edit the bond length, the bond, the atomic radii of an atom and van der Waals radii of an atom. In your crystal explorer, you can make sure that your atoms are having proper atomic radii and van der Waals radii. For taking how to edit that is, you can come to the preferences and take the element editor and you can change that, change it by one by one. Or another option is, you can take crystal explorer folder in that you can see element data text there also you can edit it here you can see element name element symbol color radii and m bond angle is there rgb color uh, con con then van der waals radii if you check one by one you can see hydrogen element symbol is H, then the color details, then radii, then uh, Van der Waals radii, like that, it is coming. Then next uh, next, com next uh, atom is helium, HE, and color details, later, later it comes as um, atomic radii and Van der Waals radii. You can check whether you you might have gone through the sif bond length in some other software and that may not be match, matching with this one that is what my doubt is and you here it is flexible and if you need to change the atomic radii that you can change here manually i hope you enjoyed the session bye